The Ferris State football team travels to Northwest Missouri this Saturday for their second appearance ever in the NCAA Division II National Semifinals. The Bulldogs are being led by a staff which has coached literally thousands of high school kids here in West Michigan. Larry Fergurski stopped by a Bulldog practice to catch up with some West Michigan coaching legends. Hands, hands, ready to sit. There's the idea. Good. They are one of the top four D2 teams in the nation. When you're down like that, you got him like this. Flip it. Led by a staff of four former. We're trying to get the guard inside, inside the B gap. Yet highly successful West Michigan high school coaches. Most of the time it's going to be to our offensive right, the block's coming. In five seasons under Tony and East. Good one. Nice. Keep on going, Bo. Ferris State has posted a 49-11 and 11 record. The rap is an eligible receiver. Not bad for a guy who's still refers to himself as a high school coach. It is who I am, you know. Um, I never uh, never really thought about being a college football coach. Uh, I, I just love being um, a high school head coach. That's kind of who I've always wanted to be. Anise, who was elected to the Michigan High School Football Coaches Hall of Fame in 2011, spent 22 years in the high school ranks, most recently in Jenison and Muskegon, where he led the Big Reds to three state championships. My dad was a high school head coach for 26 years, and and so, you know, bringing uh, Sparky and Dan and and uh, Shug's um, along um, for this ride is really special. You know, they're great coaches. Shug's, as in special teams coordinator, Jack Sugars. Good spiral, good, good. Another high school Hall of Fame coach who spent 42 years at Muskegon Oak Ridge, the last 32 as head coach, leading the Eagles to three state championships. Well, we're high school guys, for sure, because we really care about the kids, and that's what this business is all about, caring about kids. We know our alignment, and when they go to spread, yeah. it's a whole different deal. Wide receivers coach Sparky McEwen also joined Anissa's staff five years ago. And I always knew that I, I had a passion to work with kids and being with these coaches that have been around kids their entire lives, it's been great. A former Bulldog quarterback himself. Yes! McEwen turned around a then dormant Grand Rapids Creston program before serving as a professional head coach with the old Grand Rapids Rampage of the Arena Football League. I always admired, you know, his relationships with young people and to really get people to follow him. And that's kind of, you know, my, my assessment of leadership. And this season, Anise added former West Catholic head coach Dan Rohn. 43 is going to attack you here and then we'll just leak the running back behind him and he'll just flip it over. Who won four state championships in just nine seasons with the Falcons. I knew that Tony liked to work with high school guys. I mean, he's a high school guy. And Tony respects what high school coaches have done. And knowing that he's walked the same path that a lot of us have walked, this was the best fit for me. And his quarterback's coach, Rohn, has been the perfect fit for a team playing two QBs. And he's been incredible. And with the dynamic we have going on right now, um, we need that. And he's done a great job uh, communicating with those guys. And he's made... The those guys feel um, like they're brothers. Together, bringing a little bit of what has made each of them successful at the high school level and combining it, along with others, into a successful staff at the collegiate level. A special time and a great opportunity, and I really appreciate it. you got to love kids in order to do this, and uh, boy, I tell you, it's a lot of love here on the staff. We're just really excited to be here. It's just a cool thing to see. A Tony, Sparky, Dan, and Jack will lead the Bulldogs into Northwest Missouri this weekend, one win away from their first ever trip to a national championship game. In Big Rapids, Larry Fagurski, 24-hour news 8.